All right, welcome to my Avatar Elements Earth Chakra Challenge Guide. So remember, we need to complete chakras in order to get the free glider Appa. And we need six in total. You should have the water one completed already. If not, I did do a guide on it. Now, if you only completed the multiplayer challenges, you should be right here on the battle passes. If you're only on the free one, you're up here. If you're on the paid, you're down here. However, there's also some creative quests, and if you did those, then you're where I am right here. So you're just about to get more level up tokens. So two different spots you could be at. So with the release of these Earth Chakra challenges, we also have new discovery quests. So it looks like you can get two tiers for doing the chakra quests, and then two tiers more for doing these discovery quests. So each week you could be at a different spot than me, depending on if you do the creative ones or not. So what do we have to do for today's quest? It looks like land at an elemental shrine from the bus. Easy, that was what we did last time as well. And by the way, of these, the ones that spawn earth are right here, this one in the middle, and then this one on the far left. Those are the only two earthbending mythics out of all these shrines. Then we have to travel distance while sliding, okay. Destroy stone structures, obviously that's earth related. Visit Mount Olympus and Coastal Columns. Luckily, it shows us exactly where both of those are. Collect cabbages, only three. And then use rock wall and hit an opponent with rock throw. Oh, look at that. It shows the earth ones as well. So I guess I didn't have to point that out at the start because it literally showed it right here. Cool. Okay, so you could do all of these in Team Rumble if you wanted. That's the easiest route to do that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So none of these quests are really hard, but if I had to pick the hardest one, I would say this one, just because you do have to hit an opponent with the rock throw, and that's kind of hard. But it says opponent. So here's a little tip. If a quest says opponent, that means either a player or an AI or NPC or boss. But if it specifically says player or enemy player, then you can only hit real people. But when it says opponent like this, you could go up to any NPC or AI on the map and use whatever you have to do on them and it'll count. So that's a good way to get this done. Sadly though, in Team Rumble, there are no NPCs or AIs. Okay, let's try to land right here and get the earth bending right away. I'm sure one of my teammates is gonna try to beat me there. So we're gonna have to have a stellar drop. Or maybe they've already done the quest because I'm like two hours late. We'll see. So it doesn't look like any of my teammates are actually dropping here. Maybe one. And if that's the case, it does spawn two items. And of course, we only have to land at the shrine. We don't have to really pick it up. But we need it for another quest. So let's do that. What? They don't spawn in Team Rumble? Oh, no. Okay. That makes sense why nobody was coming here then. Okay, I did not know that. That is a bummer. So let's see if we can make it to Mount Olympus and Coastal Columns. Let's pop this med kit. I see the spot we have to go. And then we gotta go clear down here to Mount Olympus. Oh boy. Okay, we visited Coastal Columns. Well, I don't think I'm gonna make it over here before I keel over. So we have to travel distance while sliding. That's super easy. I'm already at 76. Let me just destroy some of these rocks real quick. Let's finish the slide challenge. So you can just build a ramp up. This is not high enough, but and then slide down. I got that one done. That's super easy. Let's see, does breaking the rocks with your builds count? It did not. You can see I was at five and I'm still at five. So you literally have to either shoot them. Well, let's see if shooting counts. So you either have to shoot them or use your pickaxe. Okay, let's back out and I'll show you the rest in a real match. All right, we'll try to land here again, even though this is a real match now and there's gonna be probably a lot of people doing it as well. My goal is just to grab the mythic and then run. I didn't mean to grab both of them. Whoops. Okay, so now we can do the rock wall at least. Let's put one of those up. Yeet. That's one. Now a super easy way to destroy stone could be with this mythic because we can chuck rocks like this. So let's see, where is a place with lots of rock? Probably 
ruined reels, right? So let's go over there and we'll start throwing rocks everywhere, and then I'll find an actual NPC. But first of all, let's see if it works. That didn't break it. Yes, it did. Yes, and look at all the rock up here. This could work. Okay, so let's just spam some rocks here. Yes, it does work. Holy crap. So you could just spam it at all this. And we're already at 20. All right, there's 50. All right, let's go find an actual NPC now. See if anyone's down here. So for cabbages, there's a cart right over here in fencing fields. Let's see if it's still here. And the carts actually have like five plus cabbages in them. So it's right in front of this building right here in fencing. And it is here, yes, right in front of this building right here. So you break it. Uh, what? Why is it not breaking? Okay, this is a bot. Again, I could hit this guy with my earth, but I want to showcase that we can do it versus an NPC. Why is that guy riding on top of the car? More importantly, why can't I destroy this cart? How about this? There it goes. That was so weird. There we go. So we got the cabbages now. 14 of them? Well, now I can't pick up the flowberry. What is going on here? There we go. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm going to take this guy out. Let's see if it works versus her. So I'm gonna duel her. And we'll chuck this at her. Yes, that did count, as you saw. Get off my car. So 100% confirmed. It did work, as you saw. Now, I don't know if it'll work against the NPC unless you challenge them like that. So if I just walked up to her and did that, I don't know if it would've worked. But the Forecast Tower NPCs, it would work against them for sure. So now we just have to visit Mount Olympus over here. All right, I got three med kits. I might be able to make it all the way over there. Let's try. Come on, we're on. Yeah, we made it. Let's go. We got them all done now, right? Yes, that's everything. So super, super easy again this week. Nothing too difficult. Wow, we made it out. Let's go. We're at 1v1v1. I see both guys right next to me. I won't have to fight the other. Where's the other guy at? It's a 1v1. This dude might be stuck. This could be an easy win for me. I think he's stuck. Doesn't he have the mythics, though? Is he going to make it up? He's like a sitting duck down there. Goodness, I almost died to him. But we won. Let's go. We didn't even pick up a crown, but we'll take it. Not today, big fellas. Not today. So we completed all the quests and we won the match. Only five kills, though. I'll take it. I am on the PS4, so I can't aim for squat. So we got the instrument. We got the Momo Messenger. That's pretty cool. Lemur approved travel bag. That is reactive. We got 1400 Chi. 
and we got a level up token. So that puts us right about here. Again, you had to complete the first set of Discovery Creative Quest to get this far though. Otherwise, let's see, you'd probably be right here maybe? You guys will have to let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure you would have got this emote though, if you have the premium version, the Aang's Air Sphere. And again, you could advance at least two more if you do these creative quests right here. They do take a while though. And it looks like we're getting the fire chakra in two days and 19 hours, so pretty much three days. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.